What drove you to become an English major in college? This is something I surprisingly get asked a lot, and I guess it shouldn't be that surprising, because if you don't know my story with college, I was actually already in the SEAL teams. I had spent 10 years in the SEAL teams when I finally got sent to college. I had to get a college degree in order to continue my career as a SEAL officer. And when I went to college, it was not even a question that I was going to be an English major. So why is that? Well, luckily, I had spent enough time in the SEAL teams to realize that the most important skill from an officer perspective that could differentiate and make you do a better job of something you could, I mean, we talk about leadership all the time and, and the different points and humility and discipline, all those things that make you a good leader. That's great. But those aren't things that you learn in college. Right. So which skill could I learn in college that will actually make me do a better job as a SEAL leader? And I knew before I even showed up there, exactly what that was going to be. And that was English. Why? Well, English to me was the study of the English language. The English language is the methodology that we American humans use to communicate with each other. And as a leader, it is critical that you have a good control and a good grip on this medium that you're going to use to communicate what your vision is, what your ideas are, what your strategies are, what the orders are. You have to be able to do that in clear and concise language. And I knew that English would provide me with that. You also have to be able to understand what you are being told to do or what the orders are, or what the mission is, or things like rules of engagement. So rules of engagement is a legal document written by lawyers, and you have to read it and understand it. And I found that this was very, very useful. This was probably, and again, looking back, because you know what, I guess I could have gotten a degree in history, and I could have really drilled down on the military, and that would have been helpful as well. But the practical application of English in that job was very important. And I will tell you that in anyone that's going to end up in a leadership position, the command of the English language is a very important thing. And when I started to get into Shakespeare, and Shakespeare, I know there's at least half the audience just went, oh God, what is he talking about? Shakespeare. The thing about Shakespeare is, and this is what I had to learn in college, when, when you first see Shakespeare, you think, oh, I don't understand this. You, you, this is a bunch of gobbledygook. This doesn't sound like English. I don't understand it. You're not supposed to understand it. And people don't pick up a Shakespeare play and just understand it. You have to study what the words mean. The guy made up words. He just made them up. So how could you know what it means? You, you're lying if you say you know what it means. He made it up. He used archaic words that, or words back then that weren't archaic, but they're archaic now and people do not use them anymore. So how could you know what they mean? You don't. You have to look them up and figure out what they mean. And that was very good for me to take a bunch of Shakespeare and have to look at these, look at this writing and figure out what it all means. Because I realized that when three years later or four years later, when I got a rules of engagement that was written by a lawyer and there was words in there I didn't understand, I didn't just go, oh God, I don't understand this and throw it away. No, I said, okay, there's a word I don't understand. I just need to look it up, figure out what it means, make sense of it. And that's what, that's what studying Shakespeare specifically did for me. And you know, at some point we're going to get into some Shakespeare right here. And there's some very, very powerful things that Shakespeare wrote, which are unmatched in language, in my opinion. So that's down the road, probably not too far, but that is why I studied English in college.